Good morning. It is Friday morning, and I'm just going to show you what I listed yesterday. Uh, I listed this uh, N uh, Navajo artist sterling silver cat pendant with a carnelian, and it is signed Ben J. Ben J. Chavez. I listed that for uh, 36 free shipping. And this little hand-painted Victorian brooch, porcelain. And that I listed for, yikes, I already forgot, um, 27, sorry. 27, free shipping on that one. Free shipping on this, I think I said. Uh, I listed this um, Murano art glass napkin holder. Which, you know, you could also use it to hold, like, mail, outgoing mail, incoming mail. You could put a pen in there. It's really cute. Um, and that I listed for 24 And then uh, this hourglass I listed on eBay because it's not vintage. And that I listed for 22 so, hi. It is still Friday morning, and um, I just wanted to do an update on my mosaic backsplash in the kitchen. Um, I have had a request to give a little more information and how-to on this. I would love to do a time-lapse, but I'm really, I have no idea how I would do that. But I will show the progress as I go, and I'll explain a little bit about how to do it. Um, it's really not difficult. Um, what you need is a pair of tile nippers from any hardware store, uh, old plates, broken plates, chipped plates, whatever you can find, cheap plates at the Goodwill, garage sale plates, uh, it, the plates are available everywhere. And sometimes I buy tile too, like just buy glass tile. But this is all broken plates. And um, you cut them up and you fit them together and then you just use tile adhesive. Again, it's the stuff that you get at the hardware store. Um, for putting in like bathroom tile and you just spread it on with a knife and stick it up there. It sticks. It, do, it, it sticks on a vertical surface. It doesn't take all that long to dry. So that's the stage I'm at now. I'm working on this flower and this flower. And I've done the black frame around the whole wall. Let's see right there. I'm not quite sure how to deal with the part around the stove. I just did it like that. I'm certainly not going to mosaic the part that's hidden by the stove. That would be a lot of work for nothing. Um, so, yeah. So, there's the one that's already done. Okay, so, uh, this is some friend mail that I just got. This is actually my very first... YouTube type friend mail and it is from Julia and let's see how well I do here. Okay. Maybe I should have cut the tape before I started. Almost there. Okay. We have a card. You brightened our day. Oh, and it's a very long. Okay, she says, please read this privately so I won't read that. But um, she says, I enjoy your videos. I wanted to show you how much I appreciated all you do. To share them with us all, you YouTube watchers. Top layers in box are for you or you can sail. Bottom, I bought just for you. If not your style, receipt in pocket. Oh, how absolutely sweet. Look at that. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it already. Look, 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 look. Can you see it? It's a hat. <gasps> that 
That is so pretty. Chapeau. Dana Marte. Ooh. I will. I will try it on better. <gasps> How fun. And this is, oh, look at this. This is a little um, wall hanging that you would put on your wall. And it's like puffy and uh, applique kind of. I'm sure that's Japanese. I've never seen anything quite like that. That's beautiful. Oh, how neat. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Cotton handkerchiefs. I love cotton handkerchiefs. I use them. That is spectacular. Look how beautiful those are. Flower. There's a, just a plain blue one with little, looks like it has a little embroidery on it. Tiny little butterfly things. And that one. And this one. Oh, these are marvelous. These are just the kind I like, too. The printed cotton kind. Here's a nice big one. Oh, this looks very mid-century. Yes. Oh. I have to unravel this one. Look at that. Does that not scream mid-century? I don't know if you can see it. I have no idea what you can see because I can't see the screen, but uh, fabulous. And then this is a little tote bag. I love my little tote bags because I walk to the post office every day with my packages. That is too sweet. Oh. Wow, I'm just overwhelmed and I haven't even gotten to the bottom yet. <laughs> this, I assume, is for Muffin. Crunchy treats. Oh. So we have crunchy and we have soft, soft treats. Oh, Muffin will be very excited. She loves her treats. And, oops, this looks like a tricky box opening. Okay, sorry, I am just prepared. Okay, what have we got here? Oh. Perky Pet Hummingbird Feeder. Look how tiny it is. Ah. Oh my gosh. How adorable. I see the little tube is inside. You have to pull that out and attach it the other way. Wow. This looks old. Okay. That's neat. I have a bird feeder outside my window, but not a hummingbird feeder. So, cool. That's so neat. And this is a man's tie necklace thing. Put together or sell as is gift to hubby. Okay. So there's like an arrowhead. Oh, I see. And there's the bolo tie that goes with it. And there are the other pieces to it. Cute. Neat. Well, I'll have fun with that. I'll put that together. Okay, hold on. And then this, I'm assuming, is what is the thing that she got for me. Oh, wow. Extra buttons. Oh. We have 
jeans. Oh, wow. Oh, I wonder if I'm really this skinny. But they are a little bit stretchy, so that's great. I love these. Maybe she saw how ratty my other jeans were getting. <laughs> These are lovely. And a shirt to go with. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Well, you probably can't see the whole thing, but it's a beautiful, beautiful plaid. Oh, absolutely adorable. All right, well, I know that you can't see this very well, but I will model it at some point show you what it looks like. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, I think I've reached the bottom of the box. Thank you so much, Julia. I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm so overwhelmed. How beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Sorry, I missed one thing. There were also these earrings in a pocket. These are great. I love these. They're so cute. They're exactly the kind of earrings I love wearing. Little dangles with interesting shapes. Oh, Muffin says hi too. I missed one more thing to show you. There was an, amongst the handkerchiefs, there was this cute apron. I hardly have any aprons. So I will definitely put this to good use. Thank you again, Julia. Hi there. It is Saturday morning, and I'm just going to show you what I'm packaging to send off today. Uh, just barely got this listed when it sold, this adorable little cat pendant, sterling silver with a carnelian. It is Ben J. Chavez, signed. He's a Navajo artist. Very cute. That sold for... 36 free shipping and then I sold this tiny little inlaid Let's see if I can get it to focus it's such a tiny ring it's so cute a uh, little Native American pinky ring turquoise and coral and mother of pearl and that sold for 20 21 free shipping and then I sold one more thing, which I already packaged, because I just get excited and package things before I get them filmed. But um, it was a Mexican pottery bowl, and I will slip in a photo so you can see it. And it sold for 23 Okay, so this is what we've gotten done on the mosaic. We got stems and leaves put on <laughs> these, and then we did this uh, brown stripe which is almost done. I did that part yesterday. I didn't work awful long, but I'm gonna try and get a little more done today. Hi, so uh, I am, I decided I need another flower, so I am chopping up this, uh, I believe it was an old piece of Fiesta ware that broke or something. I don't know, I just found it in my stash. So uh, these are the nippers. That you use. They're just little tile nippers. These I have a big pair and a little pair. These are the little pair. And all I'm doing is just chopping off oops, little pieces of this plate into this cup. And I'm kind of, I don't really have a lot of choice in how the how it fractures. So Ah, see, like that's just terrible. Oops. Uh, there we go. So, some flowers are with long skinny petals. Some end up with little short stubby petals. The good thing about this one is it seems to be, the fractures seem to be curving. So, they'll be, I can use that. But we'll see. We'll see how it turns out.
needed a new one. Uh, darling shirt, the jeans, and even a handkerchief, and the earrings. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good morning. It is Monday morning, and uh, these are the items that I got listed yesterday. This is another great looking laptop bag. It's a crossbody, has a very long strap. This is tiny, tiny little cross stitch, and it was made in Palestine, and it's uh, sold by an organization that employs uh, hearing impaired people to do, to do work which I think is kind of cool. I'm not sure on the age on this. Um, I assume that it is vintage, but probably not super vintage. And um, it's just beautiful work. Anyway, I listed that for $28. I think that's such a bargain. Um, I listed this iCat. I don't know if I say that right, but the iKAT fabric. And um, I never really knew exactly what iCat fabric was, so I did a little research. And I found out that it is fabric that is woven from, from is hand woven from thread that is, the thread itself is tie dyed. And so the artisan has to know how it's going to appear when it's woven, which I just think is like some kind of miracle. I don't know how anybody figures that out, but this fabric is so beautiful. It has elephants and people and buildings and little faces and it's just gorgeous. It's probably from Asia somewhere. The original price on it was $90 and uh, I priced it at $45. Oh and by the way this is in my other shop. I have another Etsy shop. It's called Kara Lennox um, and I put my my crafts and art and uh, any supplies. I usually put them in there. Uh, then I also listed this cute little dog pen. This is probably from the World War II era. Uh, metal was in short supply, so jewelry makers got very creative with their materials. And so a wooden jewelry was very popular. So this is a cute little, it looks like an Irish setter to me with a glass eye. Anyway, I listed him for, uh, I want to say, oh God, it was 22, I think, uh, free shipping. And then it was either 19 or 22. And this one also was either 19 or 22. And this is a uh, reverse intaglio, which is, um, Originally, these were carved crystals in Victorian times. They were hand-carved and hand-painted on the backside with images. This, however, I believe is pressed glass, and it's probably not hand-painted because um, you see these little doggy heads a lot. They're out there, but it is glass, and it's very cute, and this is a little bolo tie. Uh, the, the metal part of it had quite a bit of oxidation, so I cleaned that off, touched it up with a, with a gold leaf pen, and uh, it's not perfect, but it's acceptable, I think. And again, it's e this is either 19 or 22 free shipping. I can't remember which was which now, but in that neighborhood. So um, uh, that is it. And in just a little bit, I'm going to show you what I am packing up to ship this morning. And here are some things I'm sending off today to their new homes. Um, this is a, a signed Native American piece. The artist is Tommy Singer. There you can kind of see the see the mark there. And um, that sold for $82. Very pleased with that. Um, these earrings are not Native American, but they are Native inspired. Uh, and the, they are signed by the artist who is Ann Farella. She's uh, a desirable and oh isn't her stuff beautiful and uh, those sold for 35 I sold this awesome Girl Scout knife you see a lot of the solid green ones but these striped ones are much more rare they were only made for like one year and um, so that sold for 45 <laughs> I sold this little souvenir spoon 
with uh, this folklore character. Now I've forgotten her name, but um, it's from Norway. It's marked Norge. That sold for a whopping $8. Yeah, the souvenir spoon market is, like everything else, there are collectors and there are very valuable ones, but mostly they're not valuable. I used to pick them up, but I don't anymore. I, I think I got this one for free. So when I get something for free, I just almost feel obliged to list it, <laughs> even if I don't make much money. Um, this is that cool Indian uh, tea cozy slash toaster cover with the mirror work on it. I've got it, uh, I'll slip in a picture, but I've got it all um, wrapped up already. So, and this is how it was in inventory. I don't want to take it apart. And uh, this also, <laughs> you can't see, you don't have x-ray vision, but um, this was a postcard lot of uh, romantic antique postcards. And that sold for 15. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, try not to make you sick by moving around. Um, and I sold this wonderful tile. And that sold for 32 plus a considerable amount of shipping. I think 17 something in shipping because it's very heavy. Uh, I do think I'm going to be able to fit it into a flat rate box. So if I do, if I can do it easily, then I will refund the buyer the difference in postage. Okay. Um, and I made one more sale this morning, but I, I've already been to my inventory room, so I think it's, I'm going to wait and ship that tomorrow. So, that's it. So, because I live on a busy street, um, I'm always finding trash in my yard. But this has to be the weirdest thing anybody's ever thrown into our yard. This is a breast pump. Got me. I have no idea why it ended up in our yard, but there it is. See, I mean, this is the ordinary stuff we get. It's like a donut wrapper or something. Every day, every couple of days, I go out and pick up the trash, but this is a weird one.